Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the curl, how you can use curl with AEM. So curl is an open source command line tool, which actually support most of the protocols. So as AEM support rest and AEM has a restful nature, so you can perform AEM operation with curl as well. So what kind of operation you can perform with curl? So almost all you can create user groups, you can perform package related operations, page related operations, uh, asset related operations and uh, you know OSGI related operation and almost all the operations whatever you can think of which actually support rest restful nature you can perform with this curl let's say uh, you want to get all the names of the packages so what you can do curl so important thing is how you should execute this command first you have curl basically which denote like you are performing a curl operation hyphen u it denotes the then admin colon admin so it will show you the username and password then the url because this is a url based tool and then the command so different commands has different format it's not necessary all use the same thing so you see the quotes here you will see this quote right this one so in windows you do not need to add code it's all about the character encoding right so you can use a either one right on windows cover on windows command prompt or any any command line tool so if i say enter you will see all the packages so i'll show you example of packages so you can see the packages now if you see here i'm saying curl post that means i'm notifying this is a post command and the url okay whatever the url is and then this command is going to create right so i'm creating it now i'm saying the package if you have some uh variable or the parameter you need to pass you can use hyphen d or hyphen f this is a curl specific so when i will explain the only curl simple curl tutorial then i will explain what is those so for now you must understand to create package right so package name package group and even you can define the version as well so if i hit that the package has been created if you see here you will see the message as well so if you go to aem you will find a package okay so that created if i refresh this i should have a package yeah this has been created but it's not build i just created so for build you have a different command so what you can do here is the same thing curl admin admin and it's also a post command so what you can do you will see this service json you need to remember this for now but i'll show you something else as well at the end second part of this tutorial so you see the package path so the recently what we created the group and the packages this package we created in our this if you see here previous command and the command name is build so you will see command is equal to build it's not necessary to use here you can use this at the starting as well so if i hit this right you will see the message and package build so if you go okay if you go here and i refresh this great the package has been built you can delete those packages you can you know in download upload install so you can perform any operation uh, so i'll give you the documentation link you can go back and check there now let me show you how you can create users so for that user is also a you know operation user and group you can perform those operations so you see the same thing i'm uh, doing here curl hyphen admin admin and you you will see this now you are saying what are hyphen f as i told you earlier if you want to give some uh, variable and the, you can use hyphen d or this so f i'm saying authorizable user create it will create a user called geeks hyphen user authorizable id is this password is this and it will create so basically it will create a user without any information other than this id even you can create user with profile as well means what so you will see here uh, you can create in this way what i'm doing i'm just saying okay the same thing is that authorizable create user and what i'm saying the profile data so i'm saying hyphen f profile then gender then male and all the other attribute of the profile right if i hit like this so you should you should get this this message that means if you see starting of this the user created and it will give you the path as well of the user so if i go here and if i check okay okay if i 
there must be a user if I click here see this am geeks right am hyphen geeks this is the am hyphen geeks it has been created if I, if I go to the profile you will see that data right gender given name and the family name and same way you can perform the operations related to a group as well the, all the possible operation you can do create user delete user create group delete group add user to the group so you can perform all the possible operations let's say for example you want to stop a bundle or start a bundle upload bundle anything you can do it but for okay so see the bundle okay let me this is the first bundle let me open this okay bundle bundle id is this 602 you can use name as well here so okay let me uh, show you the command so you will see here what i'm saying hyphen action is equal to stop and what i'm saying stop uh, this bundle is equal to this because this is a url based thing uh, yeah curl is a url based so it whatever the operation you will give those will be depend on your url so if i do like this okay it says something right you won't understand what is saying but let's go back and check there okay if the I, this was the this was the bundle it was still running if i come back and let me refresh this see the bundle has been stopped right so if you want to start it what you can do just again the same command and action what you can do here is If I hit now, it should start that bundle. Okay, it's done. And if I refresh this now, this has been started. Now, these are the simple examples. There are number of examples you can learn with. But let's say if I say, give me a command or execute a curl command to create page. So what you will be doing? So you will start analyzing the documents and it, it you being a developer actually you cannot remember the commands so what you must do being a developer you should know how to create or how to get this command how to get the curl command for each am operation oh i'll show you that now okay so what you should do let let's create a page open that this uh, this tool right f12 to f12 and and i would recommend you to use chrome browser i'll let you know why at the end so create page okay select this and next and the title i'm just giving title remove everything what you have here okay and create okay don't do this you will see this one thing here now what you have to do right click copy copy as curl right you are done now what you have to do let me clear all this stuff see this when you paste it you will find this kind of stuff this is copied from the browser now you have to remove so this this contain actually uh, what you got it now to get curl command what you have to do first you check remove all the this headers whatever starting from hyphen h remove that now done whatever the operations you have so these are the variables which were used to create your page so you can use whatever you need you will find all the all the you know variables which you use in the post call right so what you can do here is remove this as well now you will see remove this as well now you see the parent you will see the encoding character as well i'll show you what you can do so percentage 2f means the slash forward slash so you can replace that thing okay let me let me do that okay so i replayed this with slash now you see what we need minimum we need to create a page in this so i need a parent path under which i need to create page that's we need then go to templates we need template right which template we need and i don't need delete template i need title right i need this title page title there must be somewhere page title so i'm removing everything else what i don't need what is not mandatory to create page so you can have all these things but let me remove this because i don't need i need template and i need page title so let me remove this okay 
let's say the test page one i'm creating a new page and remove this remove this now as i told you you have to use this hyphen f right for variables correct now done now right my url is under quotes so make it in a one line just to avoid any formatting issues so i have removed all these unnecessary variables now what you have to do you have to tell the username and password and what kind of command you want to execute so what you have to do hyphen u admin admin x and the post it has a post call right so now i can execute this in terminal one more thing you need to understand sometimes the space is not encoded properly so for now just for the example i'm just removing space in this title you can encode this based on the platform you are using means windows or uh, mac so now copy this so if i execute this now there must be a page created with this template and this title so if i hit like this you will see the uh, this re response as well the page created 200 and see this this is the url so if i go in uh, this browser and if i refresh this there must be a page you will see here the page has been created so this way you can perform any operation with curl and you do not need to remember curl command you must know how to get that curl command so that was a, a basic understanding tutorial for curl if you have any question please do comment thank you